Finding some spider nemites. So I know uh, them guys on TikTok are always bragging about having a, a bunch of screens and stuff and their tractors and combines and sprayers. But uh, I think my brother is kind of joining the cult on that. This is too much. I can't see. I, I can't see nothing to my right. I think it's too much. The only screen he really needs is this one. That one maybe. But this one would do him pretty good and he'd have good luck with it. But, you know, never enough, I guess. I think he just needs to get him a 32 inch flat screen TV in here now. Then we'd really be set. Be watching Netflix all day long. Uh, yeah. I always give Alex a hard time for it. And I don't think he appreciates it too much, but I don't mind. I can make fun of him all I want. He is my brother, but he does the same to me, so it's all right. But yep, going to the next field, gotta go under the irrigation. Just filled up. We fill, spray about 80 acres. We're on uh, 10 gallon to the acres, so we'll get her done, I guess. We'll do what we can until Alex gets here. Once Alex gets here, I'm gone. I have to go do other things. But, yep. Great day to be alive, I assume. <laughs> uh oh, bump. So, we're gonna pull up this irrigation shield right off the side of the ditch bank, so. Sean's up there at the, if I can get out here in a good spot. I got a strap in the bed, we're gonna hook up to it and get it pulled out. I have a feeling that this is going to get very muddy. Knowing everything, it's like, hey, so. you know, that field's still kind of wet, but there's rain coming. Should have... Yeah, we're going to try and get this out. So, uh, we got it running now. I'm going to go see if I can't find some blocks up there at Van Gilders. We're up at Russellville right now, and I was on the other side of the ditch and seen that it was stuck. It wasn't stuck bad. It probably could have pulled itself out of it, but I was up here. Might as well go ahead and try and get it out while I'm up here. And then uh, we're going to go up there and see if we can't find some block or something to throw underneath that. And then that way Sean ain't going to worry about it later if he, because he was talking about doing that. But that's next on, that's next stop on the list. So we're going to go do that, go up there and look, and then uh, probably come back down here if there's blocks up there. Yeah, throw some blocks in it. If not, then the guys will have to come up and do it, which it ain't bad getting back there. You just kind of got to follow the rows. So I might or might not have had to drive down irrigation road and about got stuck. So I'm now trying to cover my tracks. I'm currently trying to wash off my pickup <laughs> before I go back to the farm and dad sees it. So come back around this way, please, irrigation, and uh, give me a little bit of water. <laughs> So we're now gonna walk out here into the Veltima plot and from what I can see already, I am not liking what I'm seeing, but it doesn't hurt to go on a walk and make an actual good educated decision. And I already wanna call my dealer. So this field is our corn on corn field and it is known for having continuous gray leaf spot issues. So this is kind of one of them fields where we thought it was very important to put Veltima, or not Veltima, Zyway on. So we're out here in it, we're gonna look at it. And as you can see, we do got some tussles coming up. This is a little bit of a late sprout. We're in kind of a lower spot right here. 
these leaves do look very good now the one thing that you do need to consider about this this is also see that in the scurly spot not good not getting a good rating already but um if you guys know anything about zyway zyway is supposed to protect against things like gray leaf spot and a bunch of other diseases that we do typically have a problem with zyway is has a good concept behind it but the only way to really tell if it's actually going to help us or not is to come out here and walk in these fields we bought a thousand acres of it now i'm just going to say this it was not cheap so it better pay off in some way shape or form the only problem is is we do not have an actual good trial data field so really this 640 that we got down here at bloods this big field is going to be our best bet at finding a really good accurate kind of plot and it's still not going to be the boat the best but um for the most part this doesn't look half bad most of the time by now you'd be able to see a lot of it down in the bottom leaves in which you can see some lesions uh that is pollen yeah that's pollen so i mean there is a couple lesions down here on these bottom leaves and that does kind of scare me for it being out here already um because this corn literally just tasseled i do not like that at all and then the other thing that i'm going to do after i get done walking out here and looking at this field i am going to go to the other end of this field where uh the corn will hopefully look a lot better and we'll get a better idea there but i'm hoping that here eventually once i walk out of the zyway stuff you'll be able to tell the difference and which you should but I'm going to have to check my phone here in a minute and look at my maps to be able to tell. Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference. So we already got it all the way up to one leaf below ear leaf. Or two leaves below ear leaf. Two leaf colors below ear leaf. We've already got gray leaf spot. Uh, and there's a lesion on the ear leaf too. So those will have to get sprayed next week for sure, if not earlier than that. So now let's go look at what we know has good Veltima on it because dad was having problems with it whenever we got to this end of the field around the center pivot. Ah, I'm in a split row. I'm going to walk through the irrigation. You know you're getting close to the end whenever you get wet. Another great place to kind of watch will be uh, up at Emerson, and that's mainly because up there it's low ground and it has really really high gray leaf spot pressure which really there's no hybrids that have a great gray leaf spot tolerance they can say that they do but i mean i've seen in places where one variety looks better than the other and they, they just still have issues so we're trying to find a way to eliminate them issues uh gray leaf spot can rob a lot of yield so we're going to try and do everything we can to stop that oh so great leaf spot does like to usually you have a lot lower uh lower ground but also cool and dry or cool and wet cool and wet weather so in other words here recently we've had a lot of cool wet weather or cool kind of dry kind of wet weather I, I gotta look at this stuff again i gotta refresh my memory exactly but i think that that's right cool wet weather is what gray lip gray leaf spot really thrives in and uh we're gonna try and avoid that this year so we're gonna go out here and we're gonna look at this and then this will give us a good understanding as to whether or not it worked or whether it's just junk so i hope it's not junk all right so we are ear lease here nothing seems to be apparent on the ear leaf no lesions nothing 
Uh, next one down, we have one spot. Nothing else. Uh, nope, there's another spot up there. And there's three spots there. And then it looks like about six to seven on the second one down. But whenever you get lower to that, down on the bottom here, looks like we got the same thing. So it makes me wonder, did we waste money? No, not. Dad's not gonna be happy. So, good afternoon guys. We're down here at Steckler's right now. And I am going to walk out here in this cornfield and look a little bit, see how it all looks. Uh, so far, everything seems to look good. The only problems that we've had is we've seen a little bit of uh, gray leaf spot in areas we don't like to see it. And really early this year, which is kind of concerning. Um, this field here, as you can see, has some in it. There's a gray leaf spot, Diplodia. Well, actually, no, there isn't any gray leaf spot in this. Interesting. So not all these are gray leaf spots. Some of them can be anything like Diplodia. I'll have to look at my book and see exactly. See these? These are really too long. There's two spots right there of gray leaf spot, but these are really too long and too big to be gray leaf spot. So that's a good sign. Um, there's some right there. Boom. <coughs> Dang. So we're going to go back over to the truck. I got a book in there, and then we'll look at that. See, the one thing about this year. We've got two years coming on. I haven't seen that in years. Let's just hope that we can get it to not abort the one ear. And on Monday, Ross is gonna spray some fungicide weather depending. He might even do it Saturday. But I am leaving on Friday. Me and my family, we're going on vacation. And then uh, Ross is leaving on the 9th and the 10th and going on vacation. So. We're gonna go meet Augie at Bloods. We're gonna take the drone and I got some things I wanna look at with the drone. Oh, oh, come on. Not this mud hole. Ah, oh, we're fine. Just gotta keep the foot in it. But we're gonna go look at this field at Bloods because if, if I'm right, you'll see tassels coming up on one side of the field and tassels not coming up on the other side of the field. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be a true statement or not. It just depends on what we see whenever we look at it. Well, we should technically be able to see from the plant health as to, oh, oh I got a map the other day. Okay, I got, I got. Okay, so uh, at Bloods, we have Zyway on the northern portion of the field. And on the southern portion, we do not. The dark blue up here is better than that. So that means that that Zyway is kind of working. Uh, I'm going to call him and have him give me an updated picture because that is from June 13th. So it's basically June 30th, no, it's July 1st today. So we'll be able to see kind of a better representation of it whenever we look at today's map. And then I should, don't hold me to it, but I should be able to see also another better portion later today as well whenever we get the drone up. So I'm gonna have them send me another one and then we'll get back with you. So sadly, we didn't really get to see what we was hoping that we would, but I mean, it still looks it still looks good. I mean, cornfield in general does look good. This field really does need to be switched over to beans for a year though, but it won't happen. So, oh well. But we are now driving back down the lane. Um, it's kind of wet, not too bad. I'm gonna go back here to the back. I guess all he is too, and we're gonna go back here and look, I guess. But yeah, as you can see, it is a little muddy. So I'm currently down south here looking at some beans. Uh, main reason I'm down here looking is because I did see, end up finding some spider nemites in the soybeans there by the house. So 
we are looking now uh, mainly at sand ridges and things like that and I'll show you guys why uh, I'll show you guys kind of where the directions that I was looking at so sand, spider mites like kind of a sandier environment mainly because the soil dries out so if you look here there's a ridge right here and this ridge is a sand ridge and then you look on the back side there there's another ridge back there that's got a sand ridge to it too but this field doesn't look like it's been dry enough here yet so it shouldn't really be too big of a problem here so that's one of the things we got to kind of look at out here one of the bad parts about living in the midwest but it is what it is uh, we don't have very wet climate here in our area so we got to be very careful about that and watch it because if we don't then we can end up in some pretty big trouble uh, those spider mites will literally tear a plant to pieces there won't be anything left of it so i got one more field to check back here and then i gotta go up north if i don't slide down this ditch i gotta go up north and look at that one too so we're gonna come up here and we're gonna attempt to make this corner last time i done it where it was muddy i ended up in the cornfield and we're going towards the cornfield again Come on, we don't need that much pedal. Yeah, see, we're gonna drive back here along this and then there's like four different sand ridges back here in this 180 acre field. And I'm gonna look at it. I'm only doing this because I'm supposed to buy a chemical for it here probably in the next two to three days. And I wanna make sure that I get enough chemical to cover it. Cause if I don't, then I'm gonna have a problem. So we gotta make sure that we got the chemical to cover. So oh, here's another bean field right here. It might have a little bit on it too. It doesn't look like it. So I think we're good down here. It's been a little wetter down here than what it has at home. So that makes more sense. If I find a good spot to show you guys what they look like on the field, then I'll show you. But in the meantime, we're gonna go to Russellville now.